have you ever read your bank statement? Okay. When you usually think about accounting, anything that's an asset is a debit. Anything that is a loss of assets is a credit. All right. So if you get a paycheck deposited into your bank account, you consider that a debit. That, that's, that's money to you. Now, if you go and spend that money, that's a credit to you. But to the bank, it's exactly the opposite. All right? When money gets deposited in your bank account, that means the bank owes you money. Let me tell you something. You ever walk into a bank sometime and say, hey, I want my 500 bucks, and the guy says, hey, I'm not paying you. You're going to understand what I'm talking about. Okay? And yes, if there's ever really a run on the banks again, like there was back in 1929, you go. Okay. So, to you, when you get $500 put in your bank account, that's a debit to you, but it's a credit to them because now they owe you money. Whether they like to admit that or not, they act now actually owe you money. When you spend that money, they're going, glad I don't have to pay that guy anymore. So, when you're spending money, that's a credit to you, but that's a debit to them. Like, oh, God, at least I don't have to deal with this guy anymore. I don't owe him that money anymore. So that's why the bank statements are written like they are. The bank statements are written, if you deposit money, it's a credit to them, but a debit to you. When you spend the money, it's a debit to them, but a credit to you. And that's how that works. That's why the bank statements are the way they are. Okay, I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.